Welcome back, everyone, to the Land Prosperity campaign with me, Dwarf Pete. Where? Thankfully, none of our land has been harmed, and in fact, it is quite prosperous. Not much can... the same can't be said of Zujut or Wangia, but it definitely can't be said of the Hobgoblins. Who, in the last episode, we absolutely crushed. We could not allow any mythical conquerors. But that brings us into this episode, where, sure enough, Buvari's a, a great conqueror. I swear, we just did this, like, ten episodes ago. <laughs> so in today's episode, what we're going to do is pretty much immediately go into a war with Buvari, because uh, I ain't I ain't tolerating it. I, I'm not tolerating it. It's... no. <laughs> Been there, done that, this will not happen. I'm sorry, die is all I have to say there. So, I have found a quick, uh... Buvari protects Bimlau, or, no, they protect Rizbek, which as soon as we get, uh, high Raj cohesion, we will get our special CP back. So to start off today, we are going to go to war with Bimlau, just straight out of the gate. And that also serves the... Nice, nice. They left the coalition. I was, I was real worried about that. I did not want to deal with the coalition. That makes things a lot easier for me. But we have to consolidate from last episode when we had just finished integrating both Avubia and giving a whole ton of land to Ragajandi, which I gotta admit I like that color. Although I do like Dendraj's color the most, perhaps. Okay, so let's make sure we have the quick siege guy. That'll make this quicker. The AI decides he doesn't want to dodge my troops. But no matter. He will die. Destiny comes for him all the same. Oh, hold up. Is... Aw, oh, come on, man. Nope. Nope. Doesn't matter. Still gotta get rid of him. <laughs> if you have terrible stats, I'm not gonna keep you. Simple as. Okay, so from this, we are just going to return. No need to keep the land. And then we are going to organize our armies a little bit. Uh, preferably somewhere they don't take a whole heck of a lot of attrition. So that war is going with, what's his face? <laughs> Bim Lao, that'll go over pretty quickly here. Uh, one thing I did forget to do is put back the advisors, which we're going to take... Uh, we can lose track of that, that's fine. Uh, we'll take a spy network person. And definitely a mage. Mages I like. And, oh. Might as well get started. Okay, there is Bim Lau. That makes this much easier. We just give the land straight to... Oh yeah, that's right. You don't... Yeah, that's fine. Who cares? What are they going to do? Join a coalition? They better not. I'll kick. I'll kill them if they do. Okay, so that gives Benji... Benji Bang? That's... No, Katani... K... Kabeti Talani. That's it. Okay, so that makes you... Uh... I don't love it. I don't hate it. We'll take it. Get him trained up. Oh, I have three kids and no money. Why can't I have no kids and three money? We can work with that. Okay, so let's get into this war with... Oh, Buvari. Uh, Buvari, I don't think we need to call our allies. This seems like a pretty simple... Although that is what I said before with the last war with Buvari. 
And before I forget, we will take this mission. Go ahead and grab a uh, Admiral, because it gives us claims. The Raj has been without a Royal Navy ever since the Great Slave Revolt of 1355, after explosion, I think. When the Tiger Fleet was burned and the harbor of Shramaya was lost to us, those few ships that sail from the ports of Rabakar and Tujal will never suffice to challenge the Buvari Navy, and so we must build an armada of our own if we are ever to reclaim the Delta. The dockyards of the recently conquered southern ports shall be put to work building us a mighty warships to dominate the waters of the Rolf's Gulfs of Rehen. With this new fleet, we shall find them. Because a, a fleet's totally going to help us. <laughs> we shall kill Buvari. And that gives us two claims. We're free. I like free claims. What I don't like is my army's getting crushed. Yeah, that doesn't feel so good. Go and blow a hole in there. And how good are his armies? Jeez. Get to check. Evidently, he's he's got some bite in him. Okay. So we got plenty of admin, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get it. Bite the bullet. We're not gonna be spending admin on much. Plus, we make enough of it that it's not really a big deal. We are, however, going to get plenty of soldiers' households because I like them quite a bit. And with any luck, this castle, one of the two, will fall. And so from this war, mostly what I want to take is those two provinces for sure. <laughs> they cost quite a bit. Uh, we will start revoking some monopolies. Don't have to revoke all of them, but we should get started. And we could call our allies, but... And this is a placeholder uh, mission. It mostly just talks about conquering this area. Uh, this area specifically. There's no content there yet. To, to be added in a future patch. And I believe, actually, we are at High Raj Cohesion. And there's an interesting thing I've discovered about Raj Cohesion. Um, could attack you. Uh, it, not Raj Cohesion itself, but you can start annexing... Um, Synoptia without having to have them at above 190 relations, which is quite interesting. Okay, we can turn it up to speed 5. There's a couple things happening. No, oh, please don't kill them. Please don't. No. Man. Whatever, we got another fort. Doesn't matter how we get the forts. Holy crap, they, <laughs> they absolutely obliterated that army. Ah, but good, he is killing my Separatists. Thank you. Did you really- You killed Seer? Seriously? <laughs> really? Wow, you are- <laughs> You suck. Oh. <laughs> Whatever, Ragajandi. Whatever. Okay, there's that- for There's another fort. We don't need to worry about getting um, improved relations anymore, so we can just make some claims. And I do want to steal some maps. I want to know what's going on in the Forbidden Plains. How bad are we down on manpower? 100 and... Oof, oof. Hold up, did I see that right? Are you attacked? Yes, good man, good man. Take him down to size, he has no armies! But he does have a ton of, I think that's revanchism? Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, he needs to die. Okay. So a nice simple war with Bugwari. We'll eventually get his capital. I reckon we don't even need to siege our stuff back. We'll crack a hole in there, make things easier on ourselves. And yeah, should be fine. Nice, there's that fort. So I think that's almost all. Yep, he's, he's definitely got the uh, Lady Luck on his side. We'll crack a hole in this fort. And maybe just good, good. That's that's good. Okay. He can probably take his capital. Come on, just do it. 64%. Just do it. Yes, good. Nice. Okay. And with that, we can probably just get out of this one. After this battle is fun. Of course he would take it on the 28%. Whatever, dude. You are dying. I am not putting up with it. I should probably start taking more land from. This will do. Seems good. Okay, and that gets us yet another mission complete. We're really starting to go down. Finish them fast now. And we can even start building the Golden Highway. And I'm going to go ahead and pick up Diplotech ahead of time. Okay, but... Born out of the Great Slave Revolt, the Republic of Buvari is the greatest symbol of the Raj's impotence. Juralpur the Radiant could not reconquer the land with deaf generalship and pragmatism, nor could Amanapruna I, the Bloody, subdue it with ruthlessness and slaughter. No, the slaves turned slavers have retained their independence and dominated the Delta for a century, triumphant over our armies an embarrassing number of times. But that embarrassment shall end now. Yes, they did. They can still beat our armies, but uh, we... We beat them, that's good enough. <laughs> That embarrassment shall end now. The Raj is no longer weak. That's right, we have bodies to throw. Endless amounts of bodies. We will prove it once and for all by reclaiming the Koreana Delta from Buvari. And we get a ton of claims on Buvari. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Even if we add them, we, we won't add them. So we could go to war with Riesbeck, but that would just get us straight back into a war with Bubari. Who has no ch- Yeah, he deleted them because they were Black Flag, dummy. Stupid idiot. <laughs> so what we're going to do is just call it one Gia. Oh, you thought I was over, did you now? Nice try. And we're just going to go back and re-siege him. <laughs> they should have known better. Okay, and to top that off, we're gonna get some more soldier households. Okay, and I should start thinking about who I actually want to integrate. I was thinking you, I should promote you to a Synopti, because I'm gonna want. Oh, How much does the current... No sway. Cool. Give it to him. I don't care. Uh, I'm thinking of you, just to make cleaner borders. You, as well. That might be it. <laughs> Shouldn't have deleted... Yeah, you bought uh, mercenaries, I figured. And we'll revoke on wool, we'll continue on gems. We can remove that, we can remove that. And with that, we are starting to curtail everyone. We can even get rid of the admin cost. 
for advisors, because we, we don't need that anymore. That is a useful one, though. We'll keep that. And... Why am I keeping this? No particular reason. Let's get rid of it. And with one Zia, we shouldn't have any problems with anybody in particular here. Not beating me in an army, that's for sure. Okay, and after this war... Um, I believe we are going to go to war with either Pengoi or Buvari. Uh, <laughs> Jadari. A lot of eyes. A lot of eyes in this campaign. And one thing we should always remember to do is keep fixing that. Okay, so from this, we mostly just want to take the little guy, and we might even be able to get out with everything that we want. These three provinces, they say. Okay, as soon as we take that four, pretty much, yeah, we can take that one. It's these next two. It's 46 dev, that might be doable. Maybe in a separate piece, perhaps. And if not, I can just make uh, Kabadi Teleni bigger. Speaking of which, I should make them into... Nice! We gave our... Air... More admin. That makes them a 615. That's... Not terrible. I'll give it to him. It's not complete trash. And our armies are completely decimated. That's for sure. But it doesn't matter so long as Bubari gets destroyed. With this, we can take up the National Supply Limit modifier, which is huge. That'll make things so much easier. It makes it so there's... Well, it makes it a little bit better to try and progress through some of these more attrition heavy and something just happened stolen job nobody cares <laughs> And any day these forts want to fall would be cool. Nice. There's that fort. Now, can I take... No, I can't. Can I take it in a separate piece, perhaps? Nope. That's kind of disappointing. Oh well. We can just get rid out with this fort, and probably even that fort. And 70% seems good to me. I have no desire to keep pushing my luck when it comes to um, losing manpower. So we are going to put each of these boys into a place that has high... Wow. Look at that supply limit in the capital. 176. It is crazy. And we are going to recover. Man, do we need it right now. But I will send my good army to go take care of my rebels. Okay, and since we're out of that war, let's get to work integrating... Ah, I ran out of Synopti. Oh, okay. Who are the Synopti again? <laughs> I forget. 
Babagana, Charajar can go. We don't need you anymore. And you can also... Okay, Ortida, yeah, you can go. We have no need for either of you. Too many. Okay, in the meantime, we can steal some maps. I am curious what's going on in Nolakas. Looks like Jadari's name place. Yeah, probably didn't need to, but why not? And awesome, with that conquest of Buvari, we now have almost complete control of the node. That's huge. Makes life a lot better. And it looks like this node's getting really rich. And I think it's finally time to restore the temple at Shramaya. Okay. Let's get these boys back to... Yes. Alright, and we recover 3,000 a month, so it's going to be a while, but we can fix that by one building more these in, say, provinces with kind of crummy nodes. And of course we can build more barracks. And I was expecting more grain and livestock provinces, so I'm actually quite glad that we uh, started the process of... I was expecting to have more manpower come from soldiers' households. I suppose none of them are built yet, but all the same. And we can get garrison size, which doesn't do anything. Well, it makes it harder to siege down forts, but that's... It's not much. And the Zijut will help you. Okay. I saw earlier that they wouldn't. We could attack Jadari. Not without any troops, we can't. <laughs> that's A okay. We are annexing, and that's all we need to do. And I should check. Governing capacity, yes. Okay, there we go. Basically, every province of mine has a courthouse. Have to. This is probably the strongest we've ever been in a Let's Play by this point. Mm, maybe with the exception of the dwarf one, but... This is definitely unique. Ooh, and we can get reduction efficiency, or he could become a scholar, which he will. I like tech costs. Alright, and we might as well promote everybody up a level here, because we have plenty of money. Money is never an issue. We could get rid of this... Uh, actually, I, do we need the improved? We might as well keep it. There's no reason not to get it. We can get rid of this, though. And this one we can get rid of after we... Uh, integrate. That seems fine. Stop spying on Chidari. Start spying on, say... I don't know, Buvari? Thing away? Yeah. And we can make land out of what we just conquered. Good. Good. 
can even make another culture if we want it to. One thing I do want to do though is once these rivals stop spawning is tear down, tear down all these forts. Because they cost money and they don't do anything. <laughs> Why else would you? Okay, that's a level 3. That's not the right dev. That just needs a little bit more Diplo, which we can give it. Perfect. Wasn't in the right node, doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> and there are our two little derps once again vassalized and it was that guy and I don't even remember the other guy that's that's how little oh it was this guy this guy right here you can tear down this one and this one nice Uh-oh, what's that? Why? What? No, no, what? Hold up, wait a minute. No, this isn't fair. I didn't ask for this. I didn't click the button. Oh, man. <laughs> what? That's not fair at all. <laughs> oh, what's this? <laughs> man. Oh, that's not cool at all. God, I gotta deal... Oh. <laughs> I know how awful that one can be. Which is why I tried to avoid it. Destiny arrives all the same. <laughs> so we don't... We, we don't have to worry about it. Okay. Now, before we have that pop up, I do want to do one final thing, and that is get this, which only requires us to be at our force limit, which we can just solve that quick problem with marks. Cool. There's that. Game okay. is not running a deficit. Game. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. When the Haramari first emerged from the jungles of the Ascension Peninsula and began their conquest of Hales, they rolled over every petty kingdom from the Paravimvata Mountains to Tianlao. But this great army, the Shash Tabari, was not composed of only Haramar. It integrated each people that Haramar conquered, bringing their unique skills to bear against the next kingdom he marched against. Gonkendan horsemanship, Gavanage, war elephants, the heavy infantry of Shamakad, and all these and more were taken and combined into a whole greater than the sum of its parts. The power of combined arms is not a lesson we have forgotten, but our forces have always been but a fraction of their numbers once fielded by the first harm raj. It's time to create a new Shash Tabari that will rival the old, drawing from the many people of Rohan to create a vast fighting force directly loyal to the Raja. And with that, we get more manpower, yes! And we're almost actually full again. Which is good, because we're going to need it for the... <laughs> what's about to happen. Which I'm not looking forward to, to be honest. I know how the, I know how disasters go in Anvenar. But I think that is a good stopping point for right now. <laughs> and we will deal with the Blood Lotus Rebellion next episode. Thank you for watching.